Hello, class. Good evening. Hello. How's everything? Selena. Ana uh, Maria. Thanks. Sonia. Dennis. Alfredo. How's everything? Hi, teacher. Hey, how are you? How's everything? Hi. Nice. Okay. So I'm glad. I'm glad you're here. So the thing is good. That's great, and I would like to start today's session with a quick review, but I want to make sure you guys listen to me. Let's see, um, send me on the chat how you feel, how you are right now, so, you, so we can start interacting, please. You can use the chat and say, hey, you know, I had a really nice day, I really happy to be here, or I'm tired, I don't know how you feel. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Rafael. Welcome. Welcome. Good evening. To you. Good evening. Welcome. Well, um, so Thank I'm gonna you. start today's class with a with a, with an activity that will require your interaction online. Okay, I'm going to share with you a link, and I want you to click on the link I'm going to send and try to respond to the three um sections provided on the on the link so let's see i'm going to send the, the link on the chat okay and i want you to analyze i want you to self-evaluate your learning you know, regarding this week let's say and click on the link once you click on the link you will be able to join there is a padlet open and you're going to be able to add you're going to be able to add comments into this um, website. How do you add comments or how do you add your um, ideas? It's very easy. You just need to um, click on the plus symbol at the lower right corner, I believe, yeah, lower right corner. Well, well at least that's, that's what I see. If it's not on the lower right corner, take a look at the, take a look at the lower left corner. But then there is a symbol, like a plus symbol. You click on it and it will allow you to add your comments. Or, or simply you, you click on the symbol that it says uh, add post to this section. And that will, you know, give you the chance to, to share, you know, three things you learned. Let's say as of now you've learned. And then two things you want to know and a question you still have, maybe because of time. We're not gonna have the chance to write three things, at least write one. I'm going to give you some time. Let's say I'm going to give you um just five minutes for you to start brainstorming your ideas. Okay, I have somebody who posted already. It says, trying to be tough, okay? Being resilient and saying always what I think. Nice. Cool, I like it. You know, I like it. So that is about like, that's general, right? If you want to, uh, let's see, be specific about, you know, this class, you can also add your ideas. Maybe somebody can say, I've learned how to use so, you know, to express agreement. Or maybe you can say, I learned how to express um, 
agreement in a negative form using neither. For example, uh, neither do I. I also learned how to say how how to respond in informal context. You know, instead of saying so do I, what do you say? And instead of saying neither do I, what do I say? And so on. But please take some time. I'm gonna give two more minutes and thank you for you know adding your ideas. Use use for neither and neither, says somebody. All right, that's cool. Correct use for can make, could and should and be punctual in my class. I really like this comment. You know, it's very specific about, you know, nice. I'm going to uh, see. Awesome. Okay, I pin it. So it stay on the on the on top. And what about things you want to know? What ideas do you have? Try to interact, plus try to interact with me on the platform. Please, I know you guys are 21. Just simply click on the link I sent and that will be more than enough for you to have the access and then, you know, add your ideas. Don't be just a listener. Be someone who's active in this class, right? Be also a participant who wants to share and ask if necessary. Thank you so much. Why there, there, there is more still it got to exist. Okay. Uh well that might have a that might have a what do you say a religious explanation, right? And but that's something different about what we're talking about. But then you know there's always a answer for for you know for these questions. And I do have my, my answer, but then that will depend on, on you know, every, everybody, everyone's belief. Okay, what about things you want to know? Things you want to know about today's class, about today's topic, about yesterday's topic, and any question that you might have. I learned to cook, I learned to cook, to cook clothes. To, to cook clothes? Hmm. Interesting. How do you cook clothes? And uh, I learned to ride a bicycle. Nice. You know, I see. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So how do you say coser, Roberto? The one you need to use here is not coser. It's now when you start boiling water, it's something different. Okay, so because of time, I'll, I'll give one more minute. I, I see you don't want to participate on that interaction. Uh, what about uh, questions you still have? Any questions? Questions? No problem, Jenny. Questions you still have about the uh, topics for this week, or maybe you have a specific question about um, the meter. I don't know. Hmm? The why do native English people speak wrong their grammar? Let's ask this question to ourselves. Why do native Salvadoran Spanish people speak wrong their our grammar? Or why do we speak wrong? Many factors, right? Your level of education. If you don't go to the university, you might lack of vocabulary. If you don't like reading, you know, that can be a factor, that can be an option, that can be a you know a reason as to why somebody doesn't use proper grammar. I know that it can be their culture, you know, their values, and there's so many things that we have to start. You know. And then it says, I want to, I want to know if my pronunciation is good. I would love to hear you speaking so I can tell my opinion. I want to know more vocabulary. Yes, that's, that's good. All right. So that will be it about this uh, session. Uh, let's move on. Thank you for, for sharing and also for participating. Let's see, I have um, a couple of exercises that I want to work on with you guys today, okay? And uh, let's see, 
give me a second. I got three exercises. I'm like very positive that we're going to finish all of them. Just give me a second while I display the first one. So what did we talk about yesterday? Who remembers? What did we do yesterday? Hmm, anybody? While I'm trying to display the, the exercises, you tell me what we did yesterday. What, what, do you, what do you remember about? You saw two neither either. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, so we're going to keep practicing, you know, uh, the, the same topic. I don't want to, I don't want to move to the next topic, which is about how to use uh, wood, because this topic has a lot more to, to you know, to give and to, to be explained. So I'm going to start asking some opinions. You know, my first exercise is based on the website that I like checking. And I also suggested in case you want to uh, practice, it's um, it's called like perfect grammar. And we have this one. And I need uh, Selena. Selena, can you please read? I don't know if Selena, who said I was going to be like a listener? Oh, Jenny. Yeah, Selena, can you tell me? How do I express agreement in this number one? Jenny says, I can't play the piano. How do you express uh, using the structure given? You can say, uh, so do I or neither do I. Oh, but that will depend on the, on the auxiliary. The verb auxiliar teacher. Mm -hmm. Y esto es clase de ayer, teacher, o... Uh -huh, de toda la semana. <ríe> toda la semana. De <ríe> Ajá, desde el lunes estamos con el tema. So o tú. So o neither. Y usamos el auxiliar. Ah. Neither. Mm. Neither, Tisha. Neither. Y luego de neither, ¿qué después le ponemos? Neither. Neither, ya identificó, you mm. already identify one thing, which is nice, because neither is used if negative, and you are right, because I can't play Come. the piano, it's negative, you, you, you say that is neither, you, you, neither you're right, can. neither can, and then, neither can, neither can what? Play? I'm sorry? Can not. Can not. Nope. We need to use the, the pronoun, remember. Neither can. If you want to express agreement, what do you say? Neither can. Nice. Dennis. Good. Dennis already sent the answer in the chat. Neither can I. Let's I. let's let's check it. There you go. You have a check, like green check that tells us that it is correct. Yeah, All right. So Let's see, I'm gonna choose one more. Rafael Ernesto. What about the next one, Rafael? Catherine is English. How do you express agreement? You can, I believe you can enter. You can type in your answer too. So, teacher. So, uh -huh. and then so. Uh, so, can we... Walter, are you on the computer, Walter? Yes, are you on the computer? Walter, are you using a computer? Oh, that's... So, I'm sorry. So, that's... So, that's... I'm going to give the, the control to Walter. Walter, 
I want you to click and enter the correct answer and then click on check. Catherine is English, so how do we express <laughs> Can you enter your answer while right there? Use your mouse. Use use the the the, uh, the cursor to enter the the answer. Right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any. No, yo le dio check todavía. No, no era check. Era primero la respuesta. Entrar la respuesta y luego darle check. No, 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 ahí, ahí está, ahí, ahí. Enter your answer. ¿Cuál es la respuesta para empezar el primer? For I. So that's it. Yo quiero expresar que estoy de acuerdo. Yo quiero decir la misma idea de Catherine. Digo, Jenny, Jenny dice Catherine is English. ¿Cómo digo yo también? Vamos a darle el, este, si ponemos das, nuestro, no le dé todavía mostrar respuesta. Así de, voy a dar el control a, yo voy a mover el control ahorita. No se preocupe que lo estoy moviendo yo también. Ya no lo muevo usted. Ya no lo muevo. Thank you so much. Voy a darle el control ahorita. Ah, este, yo vi por ahí la mano levantada de alguien más. Se la voy a dar entonces a Jaime. Good. Ok. Jaime. Vaya, ahí tiene el control, Jaime, ahorita usted ingrese, borre la que escribió Walter y póngale la suya. Dígame sí. Y luego, so do I. Este, ¿dele check? No, ¿verdad? No es esa. Ok, vamos a el control de alguien más. Alguien nos va a encontrar la red. Ya no mueva el mouse, please. Tomo, yo lo voy a tomar otra vez. Ok. Y vamos a, vamos a elegir a alguien más. Let's see, le voy a dar el control. A, let's see. I'm going to choose one person. Quiero estar seguro que sí se entiende el tema. Y por eso que estoy, este... Insistiendo mucho en este tema, de how we. Vamos a darle la oportunidad a Roberto Guzmán. Make the correction, Roberto. ¿Puede, puede probar el acceso ahorita o se tiene el mando del control? ¿Alguien quiere, quiere ayudarnos a corregir para que le dé el control? Anybody? Oh, I see. No problem. Then. No problem. Okay. Who wants to make the correction? Ahorita usemos el, la plataforma. No voy a leer mensajes ahorita. I want you to help me here. Who wants para que todos lo veamos? Jenny, I'm sorry. Jenny dice, Catherine is English. ¿Qué decimos? To express a cream. No puede ser. It cannot be do. Porque la, la oración como tal no, no es... No es presente simple. El presente simple requiere tú en das. What is the auxiliary? What is the auxiliary? What is the auxiliary? Has. Has. Hmm. Vamos a preguntarle a Alfredo. Alfredo Enrique. ¿Usted está en la computadora, Alfredo? ¿O está en no. el celular? Uh -huh. Sí, en el celular pues un poco más. Okay. ¿Qué más en la computadora? So, so, so can... Sí, Jocelyn, are you on the computer or on your phone? What is the answer, class? Come on, help me, please. Tenemos que avanzar un poquito más rápido. Vaya. So, I am. So? Am I. So, am I, then. Vamos a borrar eso. So, am. So, am I. I want to check. Ok, very good. Ahí está la respuesta. ¿Cómo supo la respuesta ella? Sencillamente lo que hizo fue identificar el auxiliar, es verbo to be. Entonces, como estoy expresando de acuerdo con la persona, es so am I. Es como decir me too, ¿verdad? Pero es so am I. Miren, verbo to be. 
is. Ese es el trabajo de identificar el, el auxiliary. Es, la verdad es que esta gramática es bien útil porque me permite reflexionar en los otros aspectos. Bye. What about this one? Anybody? Me dan la respuesta y yo la voy a editar para que sea más rápido. She isn't coming to the party. What is auxiliary here? What is auxiliary? Bird to be. Bird to be, exactly. So how do I express agreement? What do I say? After we identify the auxiliary class, right after we identify the auxiliary, we need to identify uh, what type of sentence it is. If it's um, negative, affirmative, or if it's a question. Well, in this case, we only I need to identify if it is negative or affirmative. So, uh, verb to be is auxiliary, is in present, right? Isn't. Now, it's negative. So then, what do I say it, if it is negative? Neg uh -huh. She mean? isn't either. She isn't either. That is an option, correct. But if we need to follow the instruction, the instruction says that we have to use neither. You see the instruction says, use neither, it says here. So because this, the instruction says use neither, doesn't say use either, we're going to you know follow the instruction. So what do we say then? She isn't coming to the party. So what do I say to express agreement? Neither is she. Neither. Neither is she. If I say neither, I cannot use double negative. It's not possible to say double negative. I only use negative uh, auxiliary when the when I use either. So if I use neither, I don't have to use uh, auxiliaries in negatives. What do I say? Neither. Neither am I. Neither am I. Good job. Check it like that. Good. See, ¿Sí? porque estoy expresando agreement. Sí, agreement con la, lo que dijo Jim. Yo también estoy diciendo. Mi, yo también. ¿no? Por eso todo es como I am, am I. Neither, veamos, vamos a saltarnos este, we're going to have to do, the, hagamos este, the Jenny. I have to start this weekend. What is it? How do I express agreement? ¿Cómo expreso agreement? Step number one, let's identify the tense. What tense is this? Present past or future or present perfect or past perfect. What tense is this? ¿Qué tiempo es? Present. Present, Roberto. Thank you. What is the auxiliary for present? I do. Do. Nice. So what do I say then? To express agreement. Neither do I. No. No puede ser neither. Hi, man. So do I. So do I. ¿Por qué no es neither? Porque la oración está en afirmativa. Si estuviera en negativa, ahí sí seríamos neither. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? Vamos a ver otro más. Dejamos este otro. Number seven. Vamos a saltarnos un par por el tiempo. She doesn't have any brothers or sisters. What tense is this? ¿Qué tiempo es este? What tense? Present simple. Uh -huh. Present simple, simple present. Uh, affirmative or negative? Negative. Negative. Yeah. What do we use for negative? Neither or, or so? Neither. Neither. Nice. Neither. Tenemos neither. Entonces, ¿cómo acceso de acuerdo? Neither. ¿Qué digo? Neither. Neither. Do I? Neither do I. Yo también. Neither do I. Nice. Sí, solo estamos expresando agreement nosotros con lo expresado. Ahí en la... Yes? No estamos usando otros auxiliares. Let's take a look at this one. Veamos el, el number 10. Aparece, I didn't pass the exam. ¿Cómo digo que yo tampoco lo pasé? 
pero no voy a decir me neither, ¿verdad? Que es lo informal. What, how do I say yo tampoco? I didn't pass the exam. I didn't pass the exam, Rafael. La regué. No, I didn't study. So, how do I say yo tampoco? Neither or I so. Did. Neither. Neither, ajá, neither. Y luego que sigue, neither. So. Neither. 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 I did. No, es I did. Neither. Did I? Did, did I? I? Did I? Okay. Acuérdense la de la inversión. Vamos, vamos a mirar un chequecito. Vamos a hacer esta. En la, la, hay bastante ejemplos aquí, honestly. Hagamos el de, el de este. I want. I want to have a cake just now. Primero es negativo, ¿verdad? Entonces le voy a poner neither, porque es una negación. Neither. Luego el, el auxiliar es will not. Entonces digo neither. ¿Qué digo? Neither. Well, I will. Well, I. Exacto. Good. Y hay un montón de ejercicios más. Vamos a ver este otro. ¿Cómo les queda? Me ayuda. John went to the lecture yesterday. Juan fue a la, a la hora, al discurso ayer. Como digo que yo también fui. Digo neither o digo so. You so. Usamos so. So y luego so. So when I. No, después de eso usamos el auxiliar, acuérdense. So, ¿cuál es el auxiliar? El simple pas. When. Da. When. No. When. Es, ese es el verbo. El auxiliar del simple pas, ¿cuál es? So. So, dirá. Tira eso, dirá. Nice. Así, así funciona. Voy a hacer una pausa ahorita y voy a, vamos a hacer un quiz de lo que hemos venido hablando toda la semana. Y le, vamos a hacer nada más 10 preguntitas. ¿El qué usted? Vamos a, vamos a, we're going to make a quiz y lo vamos a hacer con, solo con soy tú. Quiero ver cómo andan con eso. This is only practice. Um, Zoom no se va a cortar si usted abre el link que le voy a mandar. You can simply open Zoom. I mean, open the link I'm going to send you. Enter your first and last name. Solo va a poner un nombre y un apellido y le va a dar join o unirse. Si alguien ya hizo un quiz en, este, ya hizo un quiz este, en línea, le va a ser mucho más fácil. Si no, pues... Aquí, ¿verdad? En el, en el chat, en el meeting chat de Zoom, acaba de mandar un link. Dele click y le va a pedir su nombre y apellido y le da unirse. Please. When you join, I'm going to say it here. Cuando usted se una, me va a aparecer a mí que ya se unió. Oh, ya se unió. When you join, I'm going to see you know, that you have joined here. Okay. Solo escriba un nombre, un apellido y le da join or enter. Ya tengo conectado a tres. Tengo David, tengo Alfredo y tengo Diego, Connected. Si han hecho estos juicios, pues van a estar bien familiarizados. Si no, pues, y con su lado. Empezar, le doy, Kishin. No, no le, empezar no le va a permitir. Yo tengo que darle comenzar para que ustedes comiencen. Solo dele unirse. No me parece ni eso, Kishin. <risas> ya se unió, ya se unió, Salim. Ok. Ya so, si ya se unió, solo espere que yo le dé iniciar. Dele unirse. Ok. Pero no la veo que se haya unido todavía, Celina. Ya se unió. No me aparece donde me debo de unir. Ya escribió el nombre en el link. Sí. Y veo que las opciones tiene. Mm, aparece un nombre raro. Cuando metió su nombre no le aparece join, unirse, join. No. Cierre esa ventana, vuelvo a abrir el link y vuelvo a hacer la persona. Creo que se, se metió un link correcto. Porque ya tenemos 13, 14 compañeros suyos. O sea, se está funcionando correctamente el link. Quizás usted se metió un link diferente. Try again, please. You can try again.
Solo, solo es un número. El tiempo que se unieron, pero no, lo que va a hacer la diferencia es cuando comienza. Me la robaron a Denis, dice. ¿Pudo este Celina? Sí, ¿no? Yo le ingreso mi nombre. Y no, yo le ingresé mi nombre. Ok, veo que observe en la pantalla. Hola. ¿Qué le pide ahorita? Empezar. Debe empezar. Vale. Entonces, ahí estamos. Pero ve si aparece Celina. ¿Cómo escribió? Celina se escribió. Sí. Celina. Arreglalo. No, no ha quedado, no se ha unido todavía. Ahí está ya, Dije ahí que está. me... Ahí está ya, ahí está Dos ya. puntos me dieron. Sí, sí. Ok, entonces comenzamos. En, vale, va a aparecer preguntas y de múltiples opciones. Elige la mejor respuesta. Aquí voy monitoreando quién va, quién va respondiendo más rápido y responde acertadamente. No sé Ay. si ya me uní, Bueno, ahorita. No,
Voy a dar por el tiempo dos minutos más para que vayan acelerando un poquito. Ya vamos a revisar resultados y vamos, vamos a practice. Teacher, solo un ejercicio era. Sí, solo un ejercicio. Y ahí ya respondió las 10 preguntas. Sí. Vale, ya vamos a revisarlo. Algunos no han terminado. Les voy a dar un, unos, un minuto más para que terminen todos. Ya vamos a repetir el ejercicio. Por el tiempo, si termina más de la, más de la mitad, el quiz lo voy a cerrar. Están trabajando 14 minutos. Por motivos de tiempo, voy a cerrar el quiz. Ya la mayoría terminó. Algunos no lo van a terminar, pero está bien. Voy a compartir la pantalla. Bueno, que so you can see, you know, I'm going to share the screen so you can see the results. All right. And then I'm going to stop the game right now. As you can see here, we have all your names. And when I, whenever I click on end the game, you'll see who won first place. Just, you know, FYI, for your information, this is just practice, okay? The purpose of this exercise is that you practice. The more you practice, remember, the better it is. Therefore, don't feel bad if you didn't get a good score. At the end, the purpose is that you practice. Well, as you can see, first place, let's wait for a little bit, is... First place, Robert Beltran. Second place, uh, Joelin Lopez. And third place, Christian. Christian is third place. So these are the places on the podium. These were the three people who, who, won, who won the, you know, the best, the best grade. As a class, we failed the test. Con clase, fracasamos en el intento. 4.7 nos sacamos. 47% of accuracy. However, since it's just practice, it's okay. Vamos a ir mejorando poco a poco. Okay. Let's analyze it. Let's analyze it. See, I, I congratulate. See, si felicito. Robert tiene 8. Eh? Joeline, 8. I just tiene buenas 7, 8. It's a good grade. So, let's review. Vamos a analizarlas. That's the purpose of this game. The first one. We're happy. We're happy. Let's see. 
We're happy. I'm going to have a review. Well done. Well done. Review questions. Here we go. We're happy. Dos marcaron so I am. Eso que marcaron so I am, remember. Acuérdense que hacemos la inversión. So am I. Good. 14 marcaron la correcta. Nice. Los que pusieron so do I, nunca, nunca se habla de present simple ahí. El do no, no va. Peor, so, I, so was I. No es, si fuera we were happy, ahí sí. All right. Sí, pregunta, ¿por qué era so am I aquí? No? Are we okay? Cuando es ahí en ese caso en el auxiliar de we are, sí. Uh -huh. El auxiliar es, es are, verbo to be. Uh -huh. Sí, entonces, como voy a responder yo también, mi auxiliar sería am. Am. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. sí. Y, 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 y eh, si es de, de, digamos que dijera, they are happy, uh -huh. siempre sería so en I. Vaya, es una buena pregunta porque lo que estamos haciendo ahorita es respondiendo que yo también comparto esa opinión. Eh, si, vaya, dos ejemplos. Si yo digo, we are happy, eh, digamos, uh, yo digo, ellos, los otros están felices, we're happy. Y, digamos que está un grupo ahí y dicen, we're happy. Y yo, y yo digo, soy mal, yo también, estoy feliz. Ahora, si yo, yo quiero decir, yo veo que está el grupo de ositos ahí y dicen, we're happy. Y veo que también hay una persona tercera que está ahí y dice, que también está feliz, puedo decir, so is she. O so are they. ¿Sí? Depende de quién, quién exprese la misma idea. The same idea with the people, con la gente. Que es con la idea que se está expresando. Si yo digo, um, you are my friend. Y alguien más dice, pero yo también. Dice, so am I. O, ellos también, so are they. O sea, que se va a ir movilizando de acuerdo a la idea que quiero expresar en su momento. Tenemos que adaptarla al subject, pero el auxiliar siempre va a ir el mismo, pair to be, si fuera el contexto como este. Let's not like the second, no me más. Entonces, si fuese yo siempre que voy a decir yo también, siempre sería soy en my, soy en so, my. Soy en my o depende, miren ese otro, ese otro. Vean, vean este otro. They study online. Ellos estudian en línea. Ahí no es soy en my y significa yo también, pero ¿por qué después digo so do I? Porque ahí le pusieron uno soy en my, o si le pusieron soy en my. Los que escribieron eh, so do I, seis se respondieron bien. ¿Alguien nos puede explicar por qué es so do I y no so, so am I? Please. Vaya. Es so do I, porque they study online es una oración en presente simple. Ellos estudian en línea. Presente simple, los auxiliares de presente simple es do y das. Por eso es que dice so do I. No so am I, porque el auxiliar so am I va a ser utilizado cuando usemos verbo to be. En la oración they study online nunca usamos verbo to be. No hay, solo es simple present. Por eso la respuesta es so do I. Right? La otra. Miren este otro. Las opciones. Queremos decir que también Mari. Gray Bear likes burrito. Gray Bear es el sujeto. Likes es el tiempo que te nos da la pauta. Likes es simple present. Las opciones. En la primera cinco marcaron so did Mary. No, porque likes no es past. 
you did es pasado. Lies es present, presente. Entonces, la mejor opción es soda as Mary. No puedo decir so is Mary porque la oración pray, bear, lies, burrito nunca usa verbo to be. Y la última, so was Mary, nunca usó verbo to be en pasado. La mejor opción es uh, so does Mary. Si yo, si yo quiero decir yo también sería so do I. Pero como ahí estamos que Mary es la persona que va a ser, que, es, que está en agreement con la idea, es so does Mary. No sé si se entiende esta, esta porque es does. Eh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Qué preguntas tiene? No sé si está, está confuso, confuso, clase, esto, no, I don't understand it. What's, how do you feel? ¿Cómo sienten el tema? I think cool? with the practice, and I better the, the, the resolution. Uh -huh. Okay. But previous, but previously, I, I more difficult for me. But mm -hmm. in this moment, when you explain, and for me, it's more, more clear. It's clearer. Okay. Le gustaría tomar otro quiz ahorita para ver cómo le va. Lo vamos a retomar. O tenemos diez minutos. Yes, cool. La the the key the key. The key, así la clave, is to identify the, the auxiliary. Esa es la key. Identify the auxiliary. Si le identificamos el auxiliary, qué tiempo está y, el, y hacemos un agreement con el subject, está bien. Vamos a hacer uno más y este otro también de las mismas líneas. Voy a dar nada más. Déjeme ver. Yeah, because I need, I need you to practice, honestly. I want you to practice. Eh, si estoy explicando grammar, grammar, the stru structure, como hasta aparece en la plataforma, ahí está en la, en la fórmula, yo creo más acertado que to practice, 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 and then you understand it. Ese tiene, um, tiene, eso, what time is it? Si tenemos 11 minutos, salimos a tiempo. Tiene 15 preguntas, les voy a dar exactamente, creo que, ocho minutos para, okay, para ver cómo cuánto hacen en ocho minutos ok y identify the subject este ya lleva el neither también y el either el si usted identifica el subject y el auxiliary you're good because that's going to be the starting point for you to choose the correct the correct um, response ok so Let's see how you do. Vamos a hacer uno más. Sí, ir explicando. Es, it's okay, but I also want you to practice. Ahí está otra vez. Ahí los espero en el siguiente link. No es Think Marine. This is not like that. Esto es más bien practice y hágalo conscientemente. Teacher, excuse me. Uh -huh. uh, did you start a presentation uh, where... Uh, what's a uh, uh, examples and uh, can you share yes actually i can send you the i can send you honestly well if you take the quiz you are given the results too so when you finish when you finish the the quiz if you see you are given the answers so you, once you once i close the quiz you can you can review the questions but I can also, you know, uh, give you the, the results. But since it's a quiz, it's not given as a presentation. It's given as a report. So my suggestion is that once you finish the quiz, just screenshot, you know, the correct answers. Because you will be given okay. the, the answers. Uh -huh. okay. Okay, okay, 13. 13 connected. It's okay. So seven minutes. Seven minutes. Well, seven, it's okay. Yo cerraré el quiz in seven minutes. Here we go.
So I'll give you two more minutes. Due to time, I'll give you two more minutes. For those who see the screen, you can see our accuracy is improving a little bit, which is really cool. It's moving up to 66, 68, like 68. Let's make it to 70 last month. 69, there you go, 70. Let's remain there. Let's remain or improve. Good job. Because of time, I'll give you one more minute. Teacher, se me fue la señal y se me fue el link. Ah, I will check. I will check the results. Okay, until until the last question you submitted, it's okay. And at the end, you know, just for you to make sure you uh, practice. So based on the ones you responded, I'll be able to tell you, you know, how much or how many you were correct and how much your score was. And once again, this is a uh, great practice and uh, I can send you some other, you know, links and we can have a review as a whole class tomorrow. I only have like four minutes left and um, I see the majority of you are still working like on the practice. Therefore, I think I will need to just stop it where you guys are. And uh, so we can discuss on the, you know, possible reason as to why any answer, you know, it's, it's like this or it's like that. Let's see, yeah, like almost half. But you know what is really cool and that I and I like it and that's the purpose of the activity is that we are improving. When it comes to the accuracy of the class, we have improved a lot. Now it's like 73, that's what I'm seeing at this moment. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do something really quick. Let's see, I'm going to show you the, the result. You see the results are 73 at, at the moment, That's, which is cool. That one you have. All right, I don't have more time left. I'm gonna stop it right here. And then whatever you you guys have, you know, achieve, it's it's cool. Whatever you have done, it's, it's, it's okay. And I really hope this works like a good practice for you. I'm gonna stop it right here due to time. And then let's see, how was it? Our class, got an, uh, an average of, let's see, well, first place, Jocelyn, second place, Robert Bertrand, third place, Fatima Mejia. So these are the places, the one the students who were able to, to get, you know, uh, higher scores. So once again, 
don't don't think uh we didn't do good or you know we just you know at the end it's only practice oh man i see people who who got 10 perfect score you know at the end uh our score is not perfect like as a class because um we didn't finish the test right but it's still you see jocelyn perfect score robert perfect score congratulations to you too that tell me that you guys are on fire y así podemos irnos evaluando cada quien right este le felicito nuestro puntaje quedó 5.6 porque no terminamos por el tiempo ya se nos acabó el tiempo mañana vamos a tomorrow we're gonna retake okay <risa> por dos así que ahí les, si cuando terminan el quiz les aparecen las respuestas correctas y las incorrectas ahí pueden hacer el screenshot y to see how you did okay honestly uh, this topic requires a lot of practice Tomorrow, we, we're going to have our last practice regards of uh, do, to, uh, so, neither, and, and either. And we're going to start working on the wood, wood as a, as a modal verb. Now, once again, it's crucial that you guys work on the platform. If you have a specific question about the exercises that you are working on, please let me know. Tomorrow, it's Thursday, we can work on that, and if you can continue advancing in the next sections, do it, okay? Because yeah, this week we must finish, you know, section number three in the midterm, right? But if you can continue with the next um, sections or quizzes, do it, okay? But then you can all, always bring your, you know, questions to me and to the class so we can discuss. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Good night.